portfolio for Jira is now advanced uh, roadmaps. In this video, let us discuss uh, the changes to portfolio for Jira, especially after the announcement from uh, Atlassian yesterday. So yesterday, Atlassian announced uh, this uh, on uh, their uh, community website where they mentioned about portfolio for Jira and uh, they have formally announced that it is now known as Advanced Roadmaps. So it was obviously not really uh, a surprise because uh, they mentioned it uh, in their post earlier and also if you were trying to find a portfolio for Jira app on cloud, uh, there was no such option uh, uh, just few days back. And we also you know, made a video on that particular topic. But now there is a formal uh, post from Atlassian. So let us just go through these uh, changes and uh, let us also take a look at uh, portfolio itself, whether there is any change or not. Now in this particular post, uh, uh, that was of course, uh, that was of course mentioned, um, I mean, that actually came out uh, yesterday on 19th of May. And uh, they're talking about uh, more or less the same thing. Basically, they're talking about that last year, they introduced portfolio for uh, Jira version three, where of course they have that nice improved interface. And uh, you can of course go through the link here, but uh, I wanted to focus on these three points here. Now, these are important, especially if you are using portfolio already, or if you are looking forward to uh, using portfolio or now we should say advanced uh, roadmaps. Now roadmaps available as part of all Jira software cloud plans. So if you are, uh, uh, let us say trying to use uh, some kind of you're trying to create a roadmap, you can do that. There is a roadmap feature in uh, next gen project. But now if you're talking about uh, advanced roadmaps where of course you have those capabilities of uh, uh, scheduling, making a plan. On uh, Jira Software Cloud Premium, it is available as part of uh, Jira Cloud, Jira Software Cloud Premium. And for server and data center apps, uh, it is nothing but an app which is now known as uh, Port Advanced Roadmaps. And if you're trying to create enterprise uh, roadmaps, uh, it is also available as part of Jira line. So we, we are not talking about Jira line right now. We are just talk, talking about uh, uh, portfolio and uh, how you can use it now. So it is very clear that if you want to use portfolio now, which is now known as advanced roadmaps, it is available as part of Jira software cloud premium. You can uh, click on this link and you can uh, take a look at it. So if you click on, let us click on the, on the link and let us take a look. <clears throat> so it will show you the uh, features like you know it will talk about those uh, <clears throat> you know ex extra things that you can do so jira software cloud premium so you have you know things like automate your work at scale ship faster and more reliably with uh, advanced roadmaps so now we have this particular improved interface on the cloud people were actually waiting for it they're talking about you know some other aspects uh, like unlimited storage uh, 99.9% SLA uptime and so on. So basically the um, roadmap feature here in your premium, Jira software premium is uh, now the advanced roadmaps also known as uh, the, um, the port I mean, that was also, I mean, we, we were all using it uh, portfolio, which is now uh, like rebranded. I'm not sure whether you know the features are different. We'll of course figure out in the next few uh, days as we start using it. And if, if, even if you're using the standard version of Jira software, uh, you still have the option to create a roadmap, but that is uh, the next gen project and the roadmaps that come with it. So this is all about the post here. And uh, um, let us take a look at, uh, take a look at the, uh, advanced roadmaps uh, app or market listing page. So the market listing page now says uh, advanced roadmaps and it has the information, of course, about, uh, you know, the improved interface that you can create 
I believe you can still create the life plan. Uh, of course, I'll take a look at. Uh, I've just updated my, upgraded my portfolio, and now it is advanced roadmaps. I'll show you show it to you right now, and even I am looking at it for the first time today. But if you look at the marketplace listing, they are talking about uh, the improved interface, uh, which was there earlier. It seems like I mean the first impression suggests that there is no new feature i believe uh, in terms of uh, you know new functionality uh, but i'm hoping that they still have uh, the option to create a life plan we'll find out in a few minutes and uh, you can take a look at the like the hosting options which is of course uh, data center and server and if you take a look at the version so this is really important if you if you now take a look at this version version 3.3.27 and it is now compatible with the uh, Jira Data Center 7.10 all the way to 8.8.1. And uh, this release includes so let us so this is important if you are trying to uh, understand uh, you know the new features. So it says uh, a new name portfolio for Jira is now advanced roadmaps coloring schedule bars on the timeline by issue type. Okay, so I believe you can change the color by issue type. I'm not sure whether it was possible earlier, earlier or not, but we'll figure it out. Enhanced capacity distribution, now the standard for Scrum team. So we need to figure it out what it means, like enhanced capacity distribution. Let us take a look at the release notes as well. So, you know, we are just trying to, you know, be curious, uh, be curious about, you know, what new features are there and I'm reading it for the very first time. So they are talking about the same things like highlights. And uh, they're talking about performance and stability fixes, which is good. Portfolio for Jira is now advanced to roadmap, roadmaps for Jira. I think they have renamed it. So it will now say plans on top, I believe, instead of portfolio. And uh, access your roadmaps. And by the way, I think we are looking at the, I, I think it is, you know, I guess that, you know, this particular feature will uh, behave, I mean, the features will be same on cloud and server. But of course, uh, we'll spend time. So you can color your timeline by issue type. Color coding your timeline can be can help stakeholders. This is good. This is definitely interesting. I believe there was something with the color. I'm not sure how. I'll, I, I, I think I need to uh, watch my videos. Enhanced capacity distribution. So this is important. Uh, so distribution for sprint capacity is now smarter because it takes into account sprint. Okay. Assignment followed by end dates, hierarchy levels, issue ranking, if there is no sprint assignment. This was first made available as early access feature in version 3.19. After listening to your feedback and making further refinements, this feature is now a standard uh, feature. So you can take, you can click on this link, understanding team capacity. We'll, we, we'll, we will not really, you know, go in depth, but I believe uh, we have seen this before. I think uh, when you group uh, your uh, your view by by teams, you can take a look at the capacity. I think it is probably the same thing. Uh, but if there is something new, we'll uh, definitely figure it out. So let us take a look at uh, the uh, the advanced roadmaps. And before I do that, I just want to mention that uh, Atlassian is doing, I believe, one webinar on 21st of May. If you want to take a look at uh, you know these things, or if you have any questions, I'll I'll definitely be joining. Hopefully, if I can, and uh, you know just you know they are just you know talking about the same thing. You know the, the you know the things uh, or the new features. I'm sure people will have a lot of questions because portfolio was, uh, I mean it it was used by a lot of people, and uh, with these changes, I think uh, it is going to impact a lot of people. So we have to we have to attend this webinar to uh, understand more. Uh, so let us take a look at the the portfolio for her Jira. No, I, I think I should say advanced roadmaps for Jira. I think it will take some time uh, with this renaming. So after the upgrade, now I can uh, see the same wizard that you know you get when you install portfolio and you create a new. When you click on getting started, I believe uh, link under the portfolio, but now it has uh, the new name, advanced roadmaps, and on top it says plans. So if you go to plans, you have the same thing, same options. So when you click on create plan, 
I'm not going to create a plan in this video, but I'll just, you know, I'm just trying to get a feel of how it looks like. It seems to me like the same thing, but uh, let me click on my life plan. I hope my life plan still works after the upgrade. I, uh, not just me, but many people prefer even now to use the live uh, plan and uh, this is working. This is looking good. I'm happy that it is not re removed yet. Hopefully they don't remove it or they will bring these features in the improved interface. If you click on improved interface, uh, let us see how it looks like. I guess uh, more or less the same as before, but of course uh, they're talking about uh, colors that I will probably check. Uh, let us see if we can do it quickly. So yes, we have the option to take a look at the improved interface, uh, which is looking same as before. So you have the option to color by, and I believe now you can select issue types here. And you can select maybe a different, maybe a color based on maybe a bug or story. This is interesting. I think uh, this is nice. Uh, I guess a lot of people will appreciate. Uh, the color option I believe was there earlier, but uh, now you can do it for uh, different type of issues based on the, of, based on of course issue type. I also want to check the uh, option to go back to my uh, planning interface. So it says you are currently using improved interface um, and uh, you can disable it. So that is good. I'm happy. Uh, I'm, I'm just quickly looking at the scheduling. I guess it is looking same as before. I'm just, you know, quickly trying to understand if there is totally new feature that I'm not aware of. So it looks like the, I mean, on server, of course, it is nothing but uh, a rebranding or renaming with of course uh, new features like you know f some some improvements and uh, we will definitely uh, be looking at uh, you know what all we can uh, do with this new release i mean I, i'm not sure if uh, there is any new feature uh, it, it, it seems like uh, the uh, uh, in terms of features it is more or less the same uh, but on cloud, I need to still check because I don't have access to a cloud, uh, Jira cloud software, Jira software cloud premium um, instance. But uh, I will definitely uh, keep you guys posted and I thought I'll probably uh, share this uh, with all of you and I'll show you the new portfolio for Jira or I should say advanced uh, roadmaps for Jira. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.